Hey everybody, welcome back to Prepper Junkie. Today on the table we have PSA's new Saberline AR15. There is a lot to go over. Let's get this one started. All right, folks, as I said, this is PSA's new Saberline AR-15. Just a tiny bit of background about the, the reason why they did this, um, and then we'll go ahead and start the review. So PSA wanted to create a AR-15 that was essentially pick out the box, stick on an optic, and it's ready to go for under $1,000. Have they really accomplished that? Let's find out. All right, so let's start at the back here. Um, so uh, this is PSA's Sabres Furniture, okay? So it's new furniture made by PSA to go on this line of guns. So we'll start at the stock. has a nice rubber butt pad at the back here. You do have a couple of OG sling attachments right here. And then you have QD sling attachments here and here. So lots of attachments there. Very nice cheek weld on here. You can get, it is very comfortable. Um, it's a good size. Um, I do like it. Now, you'll notice for the actual adjustment, how smooth this is right here first of all so it's very snag resistant but the adjustment is right here to adjust this so uh, it does adjust very nicely now the only thing the only small thing I would say is like I don't like a wobbly stock right I, it's not got a lot of wobble um, and it's just a personal thing. I just I just don't like it to move at all. Um, so it's got just a little bit of wobble, but um, nothing really to complain about. So uh, decent stock on there for sure. Uh, we have a mil spec buffer tube, and then moving down to your castle nut, and the castle nut has been staked in two places, which PS has been doing for a long time now, and the staking looks very good. It's amazing the amount of times either I don't see staking, or the staking is pretty crap. So um, they, I don't think I've ever had a problem with PS staking on their castle nuts, so good job. All right, so moving up to the Upper. Actually, let's go right here. This is this is a radiant charging handle. Again, everything that's on here, other than this optic, comes with the gun standard, right? So they have a radiant charging handle right here, ambidextrous, and it does have PSA's little branding right here. So excellent charging handle right out of the box. Upper and lower receiver is 7075 T6 aluminum, as you would expect. Everything's where it should be. You've got your brass deflector, forward assist, your dust cover, your mag release right here, and you have some Talon safeties. These, again, they're, they're ambi safeties, and they are upgraded right out of the box. Very nice. Love ambi safeties on an Air 15. They just make sense to me. So I do like that a lot. Nice upgrade. Okay, so moving down, we have PSA's Sabre Grip. Um, I do like the grip angle. It's got some really aggressive texturing all the way around here, um, and it feels definitely grippy in the hand. Um, so, And it's just polymer. There's no rubber overmold or anything like that. Um, it would have been nice for a little storage compartment down here, but it doesn't have one, which is fine. So it's just uh, an empty hole right there. Now, you do have an enhanced trigger guard also, and if you watch the channel, you'll know that I do like my enhanced trigger guards. Um, they are just, just better than the straight ones, in my opinion, but either way. Okay, so we're going to move down to the trigger, and before I go over that, I'm going to take out the mag off screen, because we never know when YouTube's going to freak out on us again. Power of editing, it's gone. All right, so let me put this bolt forward. Okay, so, um, yeah, the hyperfire trigger, hyperfire Jeep. BT trigger, I believe it's called if I'm wrong, I'll put the name down below. Single stage trigger, the pull weight that came in on my wheeler scale is about three pounds because it, uh, it also has some lightened uh, springs in here as well. So let's take a look at it. You got a little bit, I mean like no take up whatsoever. Very, very light. Crisp, cream, crisp clean brake. You got a little bit of, for the reset, you got a little bit of let out and tactile and audible reset. It's a light trigger, very nice upgrade from a mil spec trigger. And it has anti-walk pins on either side too. Again, are they ever really needed on a gun? Probably not. Is it nice to have them? Sure. So, um, so you do have some upgraded pins in there. Okay, so let's go over the, oh, well, let's go over the mag here that I took out. Uh, this came with a PSA 30 round mag. So PSA are making these mags um, and it did come with it. You got a little finger grooves in here. So if you're like taking it out and things, so kind of cool. Little mag there, first time I've used them. So, um, okay, so let's see if there's any wiggle between that upper and lower receiver. Doesn't function, it doesn't uh, affect the functionality of the gun in any kind of way. It's just something I like to do. 
tiny, tiny little bit of wiggle in there, but not much at all. So very nice job. Moving up to the top here, EOTech doesn't come with it, obviously, but you do have a 1913 pick reel all the way along, and they do have your T markings in here, which is very, very nice. I do like that. Moving up to the handguard, um, we do have some like oversized kind of anti-rotation tabs. How this sits in, the sides sit over the upper receiver so it won't rotate. Um, so that is nice. Now, on either side here, we do have these beefed up uh, QD mounts on either side. So that's a nice option to have there. Moving up to the rail, um, you have uh, plenty of, uh, it's actually about a 13.5 uh, 13 inch rail, I believe. Um, and so you do have lots of rail space here, one o'clock, three o'clock, and then you at the, um, at the five o'clock position, you got some cutouts, and then you have M-lock slots again uh, at the six, nine, and 11. So plenty of slots to add whatever you need on there. Uh, so very nice indeed. The um, the handguard, so where the M-lock slots are at the 3, 6, and 9 o'clock position, the, it seems like they've kind of beefed out a little bit and there's a little lip on either side. I don't mind the lip, but I wonder how it would have felt if it was just kind of rounded. I'm not sure, but the texturing is pretty nice. It gives you more of a, a bit of a grip on there as well. So it's not a bad thing that it's not rounded. Just a kind of a, a point to, to point out there. So uh, pretty grippy. Below that gas system, we have a 13.7 inch barrel. It is chambered in 556. So you can shoot 556 five, and 223. It's a one and seven twist. It's nitride finished, half by 28 thread pitch. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. And so, uh, yeah, so decent bar uh, barrel on there. Moving up to uh, the front, you have a, a PSA. Um, muzzle device. Now, the, this actual muzzle device has been made by JMac, I believe. Um, it's a four prong flash hider and it's chemo adaptable. So, if you, it's so suppressor ready essentially if you have a chemo on your suppressor. I'm not going to attach this on camera again because I don't know if YouTube will freak out one day and start kicking people off again. But if you have a, a chemo adapter, you can put that on there uh, right away. So, it's suppressor ready. Now, because of the length of this, as I said, it is a 13.7, this device is pinned and welded under here, making it six inches which makes it a non-SBR. So that is that. Okay uh, overall quick thoughts on the uh, outside fit and finish. Very nice. Tons of freaking upgrades. Um, uh, very nice indeed but we are not down there and believe it or not there's actually more to go over on the, this gun. So we're going to take it down real quickly here. Um, just your, take out your stand. Just pull out your pin right here. These actually takedown pins are an upgrade. I can't remember the name of them, but I'll roll it in. Um, but they're, they're an upgraded pin system as well. Um, at the back here, you do have a standard buffer. Uh, where am I looking for? You do have a standard buffer in there. And then the buffer spring, if you look at the white marks here, um, this actually is a JP buffer spring. So it's an upgraded buffer spring over the stainless steel spring also. All right, so we're gonna pull out the charging handle and the bolt carrier group to take a look at this. Obviously, it's your standard radian charging handle. Now, here is PSA's uh, Fathers of Freedom bolt carrier group. This is actually made by a company called MicroBest. Um, and if you've you've probably if you've been in the in the Era 15 world for a little bit, you've probably heard of them. They make a lot of really good BCGs for a lot of top companies. Um, so you're definitely getting a solid BCG from them. You're going to look at the what I always do. Look at the gas key staking. Staking looks great. Um, you're going to make sure that that there's no blemishes, weird, anything weird going on here, which there is not. It is the bolts made of carbon steel 158 and the carrier is chrome lined. So you're getting a very solid BCG from this deal as well. All right, so we are back together. Now I am through my standard 300 rounds for an AR-15 review at the moment. No problems whatsoever. Um, it's, you know, it's a nice shooter with that mid-length gas system um, and the trigger, you know, very nice indeed, no problems um, at all. So very nice indeed. and you can get up and, and fire him pretty quick with this trigger, so uh, very nice indeed. Now my overall thoughts and opinions on this now, as I said, PSA was doing the, you know, trying to create this AR-15 line that is completely ready to go out of the box. Did they accomplish that? Yeah, they did. Um, I don't think there's really anything that I would upgrade on this gun other than sticking some backup sights on and your optic on. They did a very, very good job with 
certainly this particular model of rifle that I have. There is quite a few of them out there uh, with different options like coat hammer forge barrels by FN. There's quad rails, there's full 16 inches, there's billet upper and lower uh, upper and lower receivers that have a bolt catch and release. I, th I think it's bolt catch and release. It could be just bolt release. I'm not sure. I need to get one onto the channel to look at it. Um, but certainly the forge versions that they have are excellent. You've got upgrades out of your ears. Um, they, I mean, there's nothing, this, this particular model cost $899. And if you look at the other guns in that price range, around about this price range, even a little bit, even even more, there's there's really nothing that compares to the value you're getting out of this. Um, there's hundreds of dollars worth of upgrades in this gun. So um, very impressive. Um, I think, you know, their PSAs, you know, they've got the they've got the really cheap AR-15s are, you know, four or five hundred bucks. Now you've got these intermediate AR-15s that are going to cost you nine, nine hundred to a thousand dollars. And again, I don't think there's anything on the market that would really compete with um, with all the upgrades on this gun at that price. As simple as that. So I'm very impressed. I think they're killing it. Um, I'm going to, um, or as people say, PSA is doing God's work. So I'm not going to disagree with that. So I'm going to look out uh, and maybe get a billet, uh, a billet AR-15 from the Sabre line on the channel um, in the near future. And we'll check one of those out too. But um, first impressions, very impressed. For the money, you can't beat it. So uh, just remember, PSA does have a lifetime warranty also. So if you ever have any problems, hit them up. Um, people always ask me, oh, do you pay for your guns? Yes, I do. I paid for this, my own cold hard cash. I was not sent this rifle to review. Um, so uh, so just, just be aware of that. So anyway, um, yeah, definitely approved for me. Initial impressions are very, very, very good. So, all right, folks, that is it. Uh, if any questions, any comments, please ask them below. I'm always happy to help out wherever I can. If you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, please do so. It really doesn't cost you anything and it greatly helps me out and I really appreciate it. That's it, folks. Until next time, I'll catch you later.